东小镇一整天轰炸不断，不止文化中心成了断垣残壁，视线所及到处是摧毁的民宅，无法住人。在黑漆漆的地下室，老人家害怕室内，只是没多久，又有轰炸来袭。尽管乌东情况危急，却有善心的职工冒险挺进，帮更多人撤离。They shell everything, he tells us. School buses, the Red Cross, anything that moves. So why do you do this work? I love my town and I can't leave it. He says, I can't leave the people here. Somebody needs to help people. CNN 跟随职工访查，目睹有民宅屋顶被炸出大洞，一名老妇人狼狈现身家门，眼泪掉个不停。She tells us it happened two days earlier. The first hit was at 5:50, and then there was a second hit. She says, and that hit my garage. 由于断水断电，附近居民还想办法收集雨水。职工后来成功协助部分居民撤离，没想到一对立场亲恶的老夫妇却将战争怪罪在美国身上。Thank you, America. She says, it's a horror. It's a nightmare. Putin wants to find a peaceful solution. Her husband tells us. Please don't tell this bullshit to the whole world, Alexander says. 但俄罗斯拒绝在东正教复活节停火。莫斯科牧首基里尔公开支持俄罗斯出兵。普京则顺势合理化自己的行为。I think when you spend enough time in that bubble with people telling you that you are the instrument of God's will, that you are the person who is going to repair and heal the fractured Russian world, I think you come to believe that. 为了协助乌克兰捍卫乌东，美国总统拜登加码八亿美元军援。Today. I'm announcing another $800 million to further augment Ukraine's ability to fight in the east in the Donbas region. 提供七十二门榴弹炮、十四万四千发的炮弹，以及全新研发超过一百二十一架的凤凰幽灵战术无人机。With these new UAVs, this is something called Phoenix Ghost. We have not heard about this weapon until today. The Pentagon saying it was developed by the U.S. Air Force. For Ukrainians' specific needs in this area, this first sighting of a UAV shape is not clear. Details are still not known, but the device can be similar to a UAV with anti-tank and anti-air shock capability. Not only is it a UAV, the U.S. has also placed a secret UAV in space. This may now be the second classified weapon system the U.S. is giving Ukraine. You'll recall a couple of weeks ago, discussion about an unmanned boat that they were giving to Ukraine for their maritime needs. We have not heard anything about the specifics of that either. 欧美加紧军援，一方面也为了阻止俄军滥杀无辜。乌克兰安全部门又截获俄军疑似下令处决战俘。距离外传俄罗斯定定的五月九号胜利日剩不到三周，却有俄兵迫不及待在占领区高挂二战时期的苏联胜利旗。专家分析，俄军开始改变战术，要打散乌兵。What we're seeing already from from various reports I can put together is that actually Russia has started to take a number of smaller towns in in key positions. As they're bringing in substantial and saturating bombing into other positions, and so far, what Russia is doing is the classic called shaping operations. Their primary objective is not really the capture of large cities as much as it is the destruction of the Ukrainian forces. 至于乌克兰陆续到手的军援要怎么使用？ It's quite interesting if you look at the lines of communication from Russia into eastern Ukraine. They're really along single roads. Uh, and if the uh, Ukrainians can intercept those roads, and I think they're trying to do that, then the whole Russian logistic operation collapses. 专家建议，乌克兰只要设法打断俄军后勤路线，就有机会像基辅一样，在乌东击退俄军。TVB 新闻综合报道。想扩大国际视野，掌握趋势，请订阅专门报道国际新闻的 YouTube 频道 TVBS 国际 Plus， 记得要开启小铃铛哦。